Russia. But Morocco is surging in trade on the back of an upbeat Q4 number, strong management commentary with regards to an improvement in demand and margins. Uh, Manu, you caught up with Sagada Gupta, the MD and CEO of Marico, to discuss their Q4 performance. And the first question you asked was on consumer sentiment. Was on consumer sentiment, and the management seemed quite upbeat as against other companies as well as far as the consumer sentiment is concerned. Remember, Marico was among the first to highlight the weakness in rural demand. And now they are saying that there is gradual improvement. Let's hear him out. If you really look at last year, the two drivers of uh, you know the softness in consumption, especially in rural, was uh, high inflation, uh, high food inflation. Now, whenever there is high food inflation, uh, people tend to either titrate or downgrade uh, FMCG uh, consumption. The secondly, obviously, a lot of us had to take price hikes. Alternatively, there was some shrinkflation that was happening. Now, one of the learnings is that whenever there is shrinkflation, uh, consumers don't increase transaction but automatically titrates consumption because they have a fixed uh, outlay on a product or on a category every month. I think we are now going to anniversarize some of it. And also, given the fact that uh, the you know overall inflation is under control, uh, some of the input costs you know which has gone down we have been started to pass on the benefits to the consumer we believe that you know we are now lapping uh that the worst base is over and therefore things will start improving and should there be no impact on monsoon i believe this year will be better than last year all right uh, could you quantify uh you know this year in terms of uh, the outlook that you have for both your india and your international business and volumes in India, when do they go back to the double digit mark? I don't think, uh, so that's a long shot right now. I think it will have improve gradually. All I can say is that uh, you will see a better year as far as we are concerned in terms of volumes, in terms of margins and in terms of revenue. As far as international business is concerned, I think we have an extremely robust business. We have delivered nearly double digit constant currency growth almost now 10 quarters, one quarter we did 9%. Uh, it's a business based on strong fundamentals. Uh, we are replicating that Bangladesh model into North, you know, Southeast Asia and now into Middle East. Uh, in spite of a lot of, uh, you know, issues when certain markets on inflation, currency deflation, etc. We certainly have a resilient business. So therefore, we are extremely confident about delivering double digit constant currency growth in our international business. You are targeting about 20% of your sales coming in from the newer businesses in FY24 as against 15% which was in the previous year. So at what scale do they start uh, becoming profitable to the extent that the company is right now? I mean. How do they uh, contribute? How does uh, how do things pan out that time? I think uh, both these uh, we have a sure path to profitability within the one next one to two years. I think uh, two things. One, now that we have got scale in foods and we have seen this journey, especially in oats and masala oats, where after you get scale, you and food is a scale business, you turn profitable. Uh, we have launched a couple of, uh, you know, there are some initiatives which have the potential to hit 100 crores, whether it's honey, soya, and now we have launched snacks. Our focus is to get at least three, four such heroes where we get uh, scale and therefore profitability. And this year, while we are growing, I think there's a significant focus on driving profitability on foods. As far as digital business is concerned, I think one thing that helps us is that there is far more sanity in terms of spends, you know, uh, in uh, the digital and the D2C space, given that uh, people are seriously questioning the fact that whether businesses are profitable or not, which means the consumer acquisition cost, the ROAS, which is a return on advertising spends have now become manageable, which helps us. Also, what it does is the fact that we have three or four digital businesses, I think there are extreme synergy opportunities which we can run today. For example, hypothetically, we insource some production of beardo, we straight away get some 100 bips, 200 bips margin improvement. So we are now doing that process. And I can, all I can tell you is the fact that we are a house of brands in digital compared to individual digital businesses of the same size, we have far lower cash burn. And we, our focus is to get profitable and we would see at least one or two of our digital businesses turning profitable over the next 12 months. All right, uh, you know, could you quantify the cash burn, the monthly cash burn that you're seeing in your new businesses? It's, it's actually very, very marginal if you ask okay. me. As I said that for us, it is extremely important 
to and therefore one of the things we do is we are building digital businesses we are built to last and therefore uh, i think uh, we believe in sustainable profitable growth of the businesses and we have been extremely extremely conservative when it comes to cash burn all right so let's talk about uh, two more things before we let you go the first one i wanted to know about the weaker part of your portfolio which was uh, safola edible oils this time around not only did we see price correction understandable because of uh, the decline that we saw in edible oil prices but also there was a volume decline um, what are your what are you doing to improve that and what is your end goal here I think uh, the way to look at it is, if we look at the Safola four-year CAGR, it's around six percent. So mm -hmm. there has been volatility in this business because of combination of two things: one is raw material price and a high base. For example, last year quarter four was Omicron, and also uh, by February end the Ukraine issue started. So people were lifting much more stocks in anticipation of high inflation, and therefore, as you see, last year quarter one we did, I mean, very badly on Safola. So I think you have to look at from a annualized basis and i think we should be able to give uh, you know volume growth which are in mid single digits and that's our aspiration uh, having said that i think one thing we are extremely clear as far as uh, safola is concerned our focus will continue to be to significantly expand the total addressable market in our foods journey so, and also as far as safola edible oil is concerned we do want to operate with a threshold level of margins we are okay of sacrificing some volumes for the margin and because you need to have fine balance so that you don't have a high numbers in a base which is not sustainable all right and the final question uh, you said that you know you are looking at a lot of categories increasing your tam we've been seeing that over the last couple of years as well in terms of fy24 uh, what do you do do you enter any new category or do you continue to grow all the existing categories that you are in just wanted to know if there are any gaps in your portfolio which you are looking at in fy24 as far as foods is concerned i think we have put a lot we have a lot on our plate i think we have launched a lot of initiatives in the last one year our effort is to get scale because as you know in foods i think uh, profitability comes with scale number 2 we have set up a food gtm in urban we have cover 10000 specialized outlets which is dedicated sales force our effort to has to have a profitable business in these markets where you get this proportionate share having said that we will continue to look at some opportunities in digital because we believe this is a great opportunity and i'm sure a lot of founders would love to go for strategics we now have a proven business model for helping founders grow and achieve their aspirations similarly i think we have launched some of our premium uh, in our premium hair oil portfolio for example onion oil uh, we would see some launches in there but i would say that this year is of consolidation getting what we have into growth getting grabbing market share and realizing the beta margin improvement which we need to do All right that is the management of Marico indicating that this year they will consolidate grow market share and enjoy the spoils of the EBITDA margin itself while spending some of that back into advertising to spur demand and continue to grow the stock up 7% but the stock which is lower right now is UPL